G'day, this is the video on this uh, Watt Bike Model B console fault where the console screen is uh, freezing on summary. So after you finish your workout, I'll just pedal here for a little bit uh, and then press stop with the summaries page, it either freezes up or stops uh, on you. So what we'll do here is if we just stop here, if we just hit the escape button, it'll go to here and then it says cannot, uh, cannot open file. So with this one, it'll go to here, which is, this is all your summaries. And then here it's not changing if I move these buttons in any direction. Um, even escape doesn't work. Everything doesn't work. What I've done with this one, I've already taken off the back of the console here, undone the screws, plugged the communication cable back in again. What I think the problem here is the actual SD card, which is here. So if I can try and get around here and take this off. So if I take this SD card out, and I've got a new SD card here from uh, Wattbike, plug this new SD card in, and then what we'll also have to do is, on the back here through the cover there's a reset button on the outer cover when you put the cover back on again, but what you're pressing is this button here which is actually just beside where you put in the, the power adapter cable. So if I just physically press that button with my finger, which that's the button you're pressing when you when you poke something through this small hole, this will reset it. And then if we just go uh, just ride, enter for the weight, it'll start up. And it all seems to be working fine, which again, this is a memory thing. We've got the original memory card up here. And we've just put in a brand new memory card from Woodbike. But sometimes they will fail. Sometimes even just unplugging the memory cards and plugging back in again may fix it. So you could try that. But if that doesn't work, then uh, contacting Woodbike to get a new SD card uh, would be good. So if I hit escape here, and then here it goes to the summary page, which with this particular um, SD card, when you go to the this summary screen it starts on the splits it doesn't start on the summary normally it start on summary so in this case there is an issue with that that's a telltale sign there is an issue with the with the SD card if it starts on one of these other windows not just on the tabs not just this first tab the summaries tab then more than likely there is an issue with the um, SD card so from there you could change that around you can um, choose what what um, workout you want let me show you that again I hit start Just get a little, just get five seconds of data in there. There we go. Hit escape, summaries page, and then here I can scroll across and do whatever I want as normal um, to go through them, get the split times, whatnot uh, in there. So that's a good fix. The fix is the fact that you just actually need a new um, uh, SD card itself. So you can just take this out. Plug it back in again, try that. If that doesn't work, uh, get a new um, SD card because something seems to be wrong with this one. Uh, this is a follow-on video from the video I had with the uh, the battery. This is actually the same bike with a battery. So it actually had a uh, two-stage issue. It had an issue with the it had an issue with the SD card, which is which was the initial fault. Um, and then when I pulled off the console, I normally just always test the battery voltage. And when I first got to this job, I was thinking it might be the either one of the, or both the batteries that are faulty, which is uh, freezing the screen. But then after replacing those two batteries, then I, I came across the fault where the SD card uh, was actually at fault. So I replaced that and now it's fine. So basically fixed a f future issue of the, um, of the batteries being an issue. Sometimes you might have full charge in this one or enough charge in this, but then not in this three volt battery, which uh, you still need to replace that three volt battery on its own. Or you might just do this one if it's under uh, seven, like 7.2 or seven volts or under, then replace the uh, this cell battery. Or if this three volt battery, if it's basically under three volts, if it's um, you know, 3.0 uh, or 2.8 or 2.7, then replace it. Uh, this one brand new that I've just fitted is actually a 3.3 uh, 
one, I think, volts it was. Um, uh, so that tells me it's got full charge in there with a 3.3 volts reading on a three volt battery. And this one was reading 7.8 something, I think it was. Uh, so that, uh, I know it's got charge in it. And then when I was pedaling, you can tell the, with the, if you look back in the video, uh, the battery indicator was going up, it was scrolling up and down. Uh, that means that it's uh, uh, that the alternator side of the inside of the watt bike is actually charging the battery as well. So then that'll give it longer life because it's newer cells in the battery. Or then obviously you can plug it in uh, to the wall power point uh, as well. With that, the wall power point um, adapter is. Uh, it's a 12 volt, it's a 12 volt, 1.1 1 .1 amp, basically a 12 volt, 1 amp uh, power adapter. And then the original one that comes with Watt Bike is going to have the Watt Bike uh, sticker on it. And it's just this black round end fitting, which will then, when it's all back together, just plug it into, into there. Thanks for that.